G'day Sue, I had an awesome weekend, how about you? Not great Bob, I got my other course result. It's quite demotivating really, when you don't believe a judgment reflects your commitment, engagement and deep learning. That's too bad Sue, you sure spend a lot of time studying, that is, compared to me. There is just so much prescribed content and reading Bob, that if I don't stay on top of it I can't cope. How about you, your results are always great and yet, you have so much time to explore other things. Yes, I guess I try to be as strategic as possible. Only do what counts, but I make sure all the boxes are ticked. But that goes against the grain of deep learning and participation Bob. What the university seeks from us. I look to grasp the meaning behind the content, even extend my understanding into my work and life. I try to go the extra mile. Sure, I want to do well too. This will give me better work opportunities and look great on my CV. But Sue, I am not putting my life on hold for it like you. I fit study around life. I don't understand how assessment can reward strategic approaches over deep approaches to learning Bob. Learning for me is bigger than the assessment, it's about the journey. So what's the fuss Sue, you are still on board, aren't you? You are not going to crash. Maybe that's what your journey is Sue, to make you realize something about the way you are thinking and studying. Like what Bob? Well, remember him and Hoare, the mice-sized characters in Johnson's bestseller, who moved my cheese, they were reluctant to change and try different approaches. They almost left it too late. Are you suggesting I take a leaf out of your book and sniff and scurry everywhere Bob? Anyway, don't you find the assignment so complex and ambiguously worded? In Twistle and Peterson call this cognitive dissonance Sue. It's intentional and is designed to invoke meaning. I believe the university aims to create constructive friction, to encourage metacognitive ways of thinking. Change can be liberating Sue. That's my issue Bob, the rubric is the university's template of judgment. It seems so fixed and rigid. I feel it is domesticating my thinking. Where are the opportunities for creativity and expression? To think outside the box, to feel liberated. I tend to agree Sue, to me the assessments hardly reflect the real learning that has gone on in these courses. They are just hoops, to be jumped through, to be part of the academic club. That's what annoys me about formal learning Bob. Look at participation, when that was part of assessment people engaged, when it wasn't most stopped. But in the end Sue, it's what you take away from the course that really matters, and how you apply it in your own context. No doubt you will look back and have a good laugh at all of this. I hope you're right Bob. I have enjoyed the learning and student camaraderie immensely. Cheer up and relax, the worst is over, and the end is in sight. See you around Sue.